I wonder who it is. Thanks very, very much. I, I really appreciate it. It looks like a big boy, so it could be quarantine, but it's... What do you think? Well, you wanted to see leopards this morning, Brian. Is it quarantine? I think it is Mr. Q. Oh, don't go in there. That's very long grass. I uh, just need to call Rexon. I know Rexon's very interested in, in coming here. What is he after in that thicket? You hear the birds alarm calling. Oh, you can lose a leopard in this long grass quickly. Let's just make sure. I think he's going to go straight through. There he is. I mean, basically, I'm just we're watching grass move at the moment. And you see his tail, he's put it up in the air because the birds are alarming at him. Okay. I think I'm going to zoom around to the other road. I think he's going to pop out on the road. Oh dear, there he is. Well, Daniel, congratulations on your first view of Mr. Q. Let me just try stick with him. Oh, look at that beautiful light coming through. You can see when leopards have been spotted by different animals and you can hear the cysticulars going nuts above him they've put up their tail it's almost sort of like okay okay you guys have caught me i'm over it i'm not gonna eat you now oh, he must be quite hungry to be walking through the wet grass so normally yeah he does look quite hungry a leopard would be walking down the road to try avoid the grass and the seeds and everything unless he's hungry so he's, he's using a bit of stealth he is beautiful and you can see how that camouflage just w disappears him into the the green grass it also helps when the grass is taller than you He's grown so much in the last two years. I mean, it's incredible that at his young age, he's already the dominant male in this area. See, he hasn't quite developed that massive dewlap like Tingana yet. And he is hungry and on the hunt. Rexon, Rexon. Now, he's checking under all these little bushes, probably for stenbork or scrub hair. Or even a diker. But we all know Mr. Q, he likes kudu. <laughs> Hi-oh, 
welcome to Safari Live. Hiyo says, how can I tell which leopard that is? Well, Hiyo, just from where we are, um, he's the dominant male in this in this area. And uh, we've actually followed him for two years. This is one of Karula's cubs, who's now not so much a cub anymore. He's gonna go up, he's gonna go up. Let's get a better view over the grass. That's exactly, let's go forward. Look at that. He's trying to see if there's any potential prey up ahead. How's that, Brian? Here we go, Mr. Q. Come on, spot something to eat. doesn't look very happy with what he can see. <laughs> oh, there's nothing to eat. Oh, I know Rexon's desperate for leopard, but I can't seem to get hold of him on the radio. I'll try one more time. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh. He might take a break. Rex, Rex. Rex, is that you on Ingwe Road? Rexon, Rexon. Yeah, Rex, just turn down Juma Dam Road to the south. Um, he's just gone up a shasha. Copy, I can hear your mover. <coughs> oh, look at him. So he's decided to take a little re a re break. Sorry about that, but uh, Rex has been desperate for, for, for leopards. And, uh, well, we're going to move around to get into a, a better spot to view him. Uh, Taylor is still following up on those baboon alarm calls. We've got the...